So we've got a couple of simulators here um, uh, as well, and they work a little bit differently to the one on the left. The one on the left is actually in the, in the board, so I can just click on it and the simulator opens up. Um, and we'll, you know, obviously wait for it to load. This one, um, it's not, you can't embed it in. So what we're gonna do is gonna click on this pop-up where it says source, and it'll take us to the website. Um, and then when you get to that website, you can try pressing play, or you can maybe download the Java version. So I've got the Java version um, opened up already down here somewhere. Here it is. This is, oh, that one's the alpha decay. This one's the beta decay. So there is the alpha decay there as well. We're going to look at both of those now. And you would press play or, again, download it. So let's have a look um, at some of these. We're going to start off with Alpha Decay. I'm going to look at Single Atom. We're just going to pause it, reset the nucleus. OK, so what we're going to do here is we're going to see what happens when I press play. We've got, at the moment, a polonium atom. Now, polonium, um, if we find it on the periodic table, it's got the mass number of 211. And what we're going to look at is um, what is its atomic number as well. So if you just want to look on the periodic table and see if you can find polonium and let me know what and make a note of what its atomic number is as well as its mass number. Um, so when you look on the periodic table, it actually has um, an, a mass number as a mass number of 20, uh, where is it? I lost it again, 209. And it's in brackets. And the reason why it's in brackets is because, well, it's it usually means because it's not naturally found. So you'd actually have to produce it in a lab. Now, this is still polonium, but it's got a mass number of 211. That's because we're, it is what we say an isotope. of Well, um, so we need to look at the word isotope first. We need to understand what isotope means. So some elements have different isotopes. And what we when we think about isotopes, I want you to think about the word type. It sounds a little bit like type, like isotype. And um, it means that different atoms or different elements have different types of themselves. So for example, carbon, <coughs> carbon can have the normal, normal carbon would have 12, a mass number of 12 and an atomic number of six. But some carbons can have a mass number of 13, but will still have an atomic number of six because as we found out in the last video, all carbons have a particular, all lithium has had a particular atomic number, same with carbon, okay? So, and then we have some carbons that have got a mass number of 14. In the same way, so all these are different isotopes, different types of carbon or different isotopes of carbon. And in the same way, you can have different isotopes of polonium. So this is an isotope of polonium that has 211. Now, earlier on, what we did as well is we looked at um, uh, whether or not something is stable or unstable. Now, if it's unstable, we can say it can decay. So I'm just going to pull. So, yeah, so this polonium isotope, this particular isotope of polonium is unstable. The one on the periodic table that's um, that's 209, uh, mass number 209, may not be unstable. Oh, it may be as well. I don't know. But um, this one is definitely unstable. So just to be clear, the mass number of polonium, let's write the whole thing, is, is 80, 80, um, 84. Okay, so that means every polonium atom has got an 84 protons okay the atomic number is the is the protons so we're going to see we're going to see this now decay i said that an unstable atom will decay what do i mean well let's just see what happens when i press play so it's unstable apparently and that happens so it produced it sort of gave off um it well it gave off something didn't it let's reset it it's polonium 211 and then something comes off it. But as something comes off, you can just see it in the picture there. And it's called, by looking at the key, it's called an alpha particle. Notice also it changed to lead. So we're gonna what we're gonna draw a um, we're gonna we're gonna draw we're gonna draw a, a formula here. PO it starts with PO84 
and then it changed into I'm just going to get rid of that unstable thing, that word unstable for a moment. Move that over there. And so it changed into um, lead. Um, and this lead had a mass number of 207. In fact, polonium was 211, wasn't it? And now it doesn't tell us the atomic number of lead, but like I said, all atoms have you know if they've got a particular name they will have a particular atomic number so lead let's look on the periodic table lead has got an atomic number of 82 let's write that down 82 and it gave off something that we um at the time scientists they just called them an alpha particle um and we're going to now look at it and try to work out what is an alpha particle well if we look over here, it's helped us nicely. It's got two red circles and two gray circles. That should give us a big clue. As to... So from looking at this, it looks like it's two protons, two neutrons. Over here, it's got the key. It's got, that's an alpha particle, but also you can see that's a proton, that's a neutron. So, but as well as that, you've also got the change in the, in the atomic number. And they really want you to know this. This is what we call a nuclear equation. So if you have a look closely, um then the 84 goes down to 82 well what how did that happen because the because two of the protons is now in the alpha particle the mass number went from 211 to 207 well that's because well part of it is the the protons and then the other two are going to be the neutrons so that must mean as a mass number of four so that is uh, so um and like i say the periodic tables could be sometimes the numbers could be switched around it, it really doesn't make much difference so um now if we look at this and a little bit more closely as i said all all particular elements have a specific atomic number now this helium or oh, nearly just gave you it gave you the answer very much nearly this alpha particle has an atomic number of two. So let's find what element has an atomic number of two on the periodic table. Right, so when we look at the periodic table, we see that the um, that the, the atom that has an atomic number of two is helium. So this alpha particle, and they, again, something else they want you to know about this is that an alpha particle is a helium nucleus. So in short, when something decays, it changes from one thing into another. But also it gives up some sort of radiation. So that's our radiation there. Now, the radiation isn't always an alpha particle. We're going to look at other types of radiation next. But um, the alpha particle is a little bit easier to understand because simply it's two protons and two neutrons and it's like a we it's always well not well yeah always really quite large atoms this is quite a large atom isn't it it was started off at 207 let's re let's reset it um, and press play so it starts off at 211 and then it changes into 200 well eventually it'll change into 207 they're still quite a large atom. So large atoms are more likely to undergo um, undergo alpha decay. So this is alpha decay. Alpha decay is when an atom loses two protons and two neutrons and they fall off in one chunk. And that chunk of two protons and two neutrons is called an alpha particle. When you look at the periodic table, you'll notice that um, a helium atom has two protons because it doesn't have the electrons then we just call it the helium nucleus so an alpha particle is a helium nucleus what else do we need to know about alpha particles well they have a double positive charge so alpha particles are very very ionizing okay so we want to make a note that alpha particles are very very ionizing very ionizing let's make a little title just here this is alpha part we're looking at alpha decay and this is and um and actually um so we should say alpha particles are very 
very ionizing. We're going to look at three types of radiation. Alpha particles are the most ionizing because they have a plus two charge. Okay. They're also very big. They're the biggest. I'll say very big. Obviously, it's a lot smaller than the, um, this lead nucleus. But of the three types of radiation we're going to look at, this is the largest. Very, It's very large. And I'm going to put in brackets massive, as in large mass, not as in big, massive, very large or massive. Um, yeah, <laughs> very large um, particles. OK, they're really the main thing that you need to know about alpha radiation, about alpha decay. And um, you got maybe another thing I suppose you can say is that the mass number will always go down by four. And the atomic number will always go down by two. Okay.